If Leila Van Alstyne's teacher asked for an essay on what she did over the holidays, it'll make interesting reading. This morning, the seven-year-old was presenting her latest invention to an audience of politicians and business leaders, including a director from Shell. At the home of the famous grouse whiskey in Creef is the full-size version of what's been described as a revolution in environmental technology, one that's literally green. These water tanks are being filled with algae. Flue gas emissions from the distillery will be sent through them to be devoured by the algae and converted into oil and proteins that can be reused. It was co-created by Layla and her dad David over their kitchen table in John's Haven. This is our very first prototype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is, this is what the patent is based on. So we've got a 32 claim patent that's all based on this experiment that we did at the kitchen table. On one side, what we've got is a biodigester. So the biodigester generated carbon dioxide that was then percolated through the, yeah. the reactor. Okay. And then we did experiment yeast in here, but it didn't really work. No. No. <laughs> it just killed it. <laughs> The machine uses locally grown algae that the inventors say is so environmentally friendly, it's safe to drink. Bottoms up. It's unlikely to become part of Glen Turret's famous sample tasting sessions, though. The distillery says the algae will be going nowhere near its products. It has absolutely nothing to do with the whiskey at all. Uh, all we're doing is capturing the flue gas from the distillery and using the wastewater that comes from the distilling process. David Van Alstyne hopes to develop more bioreactors like this for use across Scotland. Layla's ambitions, though, have been thwarted for now. Her dad's ruled out whatever her latest idea is as being too dangerous. David Miles and STV News, Creef.